I was saved in 1992, April the 17th, at a Baptist church in Nashville at a youth revival. I was living in a children's home for four years during that time because I was in state's custody. My grandmother said for, for years, you are going to be my little preacher one day. And just before she passed away, I had been saved and called to preach and got to see her just really weeks, if that, before she slipped off to heaven. And she got to see me become her little preacher. But for years, I, I ran from that. I ran from the Lord. I knew the truth, but I was always told, if you ever give your life to Christ, he's gonna change you. And that's precisely why I wouldn't do it because I didn't want him to change me. I wanted my music, my friends, my culture, my drugs, my rebellion, my juvenile delinquency. That's what I wanted. And that's the direction that I was going. But that night when I heard the gospel clear and plain, it was so demonstrative. It's like I was the only person in the room. And I knew that night, it's now or never. God radically changed me that night. My days in college, seminary, for lack of better terminology, uh, were very interesting because I went for the express purpose of being a professional evangelist. So I went to college for one reason, it was to preach. I crammed as many years as I could into three. I graduated early and I got out because I didn't go to college to sit around and have a job. I went to college to learn to be a good preacher. And I got in and I got out as quickly as I could.